Hey guys, it's Sky. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be doing another Q&A because a lot of you guys have been wanting me to film another one. And while we're on quarantine, I'm like, you know what, shoot, I'm just gonna do it. Um, I feel like you guys probably have a lot more questions that I didn't answer in my first Q&A. And plus my first Q&A was over a year ago, so some stuff has changed in that time frame. Um, but yeah, so if you want to watch this Q&A, get to know more about me, um, I'm gonna be answering a lot of y'all questions. Make sure you continue to watch this video and let's get this video to 25,000 likes. I think we got over 20,000 likes on the last one. So let's just try to go further and higher from there. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. While we're on quarantine, I'm gonna be posting more quarantine. Uh, not quarantine, I'm not gonna be posting more quarantine. I'm gonna be posting more content. So let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna ask y'all some things that a lot of you guys had told me to do, but I just wanna hear it from you guys if you really want me to do it. If you wanna hear from that and watch this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, on the story, y'all asked me questions, and I just asked Twitter too, so I'm gonna go back and forth. Um, I don't know how long this Q&A is gonna be. The last one, I think, was like 20 minutes. I, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I always say I don't want my videos to be too long and then they end up being like between 20 minutes. So the first question is, who is your favorite singer? Hmm, that's a hard one, cause I like a lot of people. But I would say my favorite singer is Summer Walker. Um, me and her are actually friends, she's really, really cool. We're both Aries, that's my Aries sister right there. And I just, she's just so talented. Like her voice is just so, so, so amazing and i like that she's different what is this in my hair i'm sorry y'all i'm just like <laughs> um but i like that she's just different and from her appearance like you wouldn't like she doesn't give you that like oh she must be like a singer she must do this like you don't know what she does and then when she sings it's just amazing so i definitely love summer and i think she's so talented have you ever ate arabic or north african food um i probably yeah i have but like not the authentic stuff and i need to go to where y'all at to try that um i love food y'all know me i'm a foodie and i want to start doing when this whole quarantine is over let me know if you guys want me to do it i want to go to like let's just say because i like crab legs right so i want to rate like who has the best crab legs so i would go to three different places and then eat with y'all y'all see me eating everything and then y'all can i mean y'all wouldn't be able to taste it but like from appearance wise and whatever else i want to do that and rate who has the best food i just love food and i want to start vlogging more when i'm eating like just do a whole vlog about food i think that would be cool where do you see yourself in five years i see myself in five years still doing acting i see myself um owning more than one business because I'm really into entrepreneurship at this time. When before quarantine, I was I was thinking about it, but I wasn't really serious about it. But now that this whole quarantine has happened, I'm actually happy that this kind of happened. I mean, I'm not happy that people have lost their lives, none of that. But I'm saying that um, I'm happy that this situation has made me want to learn more about stuff and educate myself on a lot of stuff while being in the house because we have nothing to do so i realized that i really like entrepreneurship and want to pursue that um if y'all don't know what entrepreneurship it's just your own business starting your own brand what you want to do and i feel like you guys will like it too and i want to do something that y'all would love to buy and is accessible to y'all so i don't know i'm not saying i'm gonna do that anytime soon but i'm just saying i would love to do that in the future um and in five years i just see myself traveling a lot i see myself probably moving from california um not like permanently but by coastal so maybe here somewhere else in here in Atlanta or I don't know maybe New York I don't really know but I definitely want to move from California and I just see myself doing amazing things helping other people out and yeah I can go on and on and on because I see a, myself doing a lot in five years like a lot a lot a lot but I'm not gonna take up too much of y'all's time um what are you doing at the home in quarantine I mean I kind of just answered this but I just been doing school work because i graduate next month 
Um, what else have I been doing? I've been trying to read. I've been having fun too. I've been playing The Sims, which I have a question about that at the end of this video. I've been playing The same Sims 4, and I used to play that game all the time when I was little, but I would play Sims 3. Um, and yeah, so that's literally all I've been doing is schoolwork, um, looking into things that I really want to do in life and achieve and playing some sport and playing with my dog and watching movies and cleaning the kitchen, cleaning my room, cooking, and the same thing over and over and over. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have two sisters. Their names are Vorfra and Nala and they live in New York where I'm from and they are younger than me and I love them so, so much and hopefully I get to see them soon because I wanted to come to New York in May. I was gonna go to New York in May, but this whole quarantine thing is going on and I would go, no, I wouldn't go. I would go right after quarantine is like over, but there's so many cases in New York. I just don't wanna go like even right away when they said, okay, y'all can fly to wherever. I don't wanna do that because there's like over 100,000 cases of Corona and uh, uh, I'm not trying to get that. What is the best way to live a good, unstressful life? I would say it really just depends on a lot of things. Depends on the friends that you surround yourself with. A lot of friends, you might not realize it, bring a lot of negative energy. As in they could have you saying, they could be talking bad about someone and you're just hee hee, hee hee and then chiming in. Um, that's living like a negative life even if it doesn't really pertain to you as in if it's not your situation but you're still involved with it um i would say also family too family can get really stressful family sometimes it's a mixy thing um so sometimes you have to distance yourself from certain people and i would just say you know really try to do anything that you think is unstressful it's different for everybody so for me being unstressful is just like regrouping my friends, um, talking to people on FaceTime about my feelings so that maybe they can give me advice and help me out. Um, but yeah, being unstressed and getting to that level takes a while. It's not easy, but it just depends. It's different for everybody. What's your zodiac sign? I am at Aries. I just had my birthday. It was April 8th and I'm born in 2002. What is your favorite show? I would definitely say On My Block is my favorite show. Just because, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if my camera. Um, anyways, like I was saying, On My Block is my favorite show. And that's the only show I do watch. And I'm really mad that season, what, three only had two, I mean, not two episodes, eight episodes. I'm really mad at the ending of season three. Like, what was that? I'm sorry. The whole Caesar turning into spooky all over again. I didn't like it, he was bald. I did not like it. Um, I didn't like the fact that they're not speaking to each other, so I and how Monse just kind of even left them. And it was so sad because she got like, you know, the picture frame with their picture in it. And then she went to college or wherever she went. And then she had multiple picture frames with other people and theirs was all dusty in the back with Jamal and Jasmine and all of them. I think that was so messed up. So hopefully they have a season four and I think Jasmine and is it Ruby or whatever his name is? I forget his character name. I, sorry. Um, their relationship, I don't know. It's just weird to me. It's different. I don't really know. But hopefully that they do a season four. Or is it season three? I think season four. I really hope they do season four because it's a really good show. And we need some answers. Like, you can't just leave us like that. What is your favorite shoes? Um, I'm a sneaker girl. I don't really wear girly shoes like that. So I like air force ones i like jordan ones i like jordan sixes 11s 12s and yeah that's pretty much what i wear but usually i'll be wearing um air jordan ones those are my favorite how are you dealing with this corona i kind of answered that but i'm okay i'm just doing my part make sure y'all stay in the house you know only go outside if it's for the necessary so if you need to go to the supermarket you need to go to the doctor you need to go to cvs or something then cool but don't be hanging out in the street, linking with your friends, because honestly, what we're not doing now is gonna be there for us when Corona's over. And plus, y'all can't do anything anyways. There's no, you can't sit down and go to a restaurant. All clothing stores are closed. I think the malls are pretty much closed. You can't do anything, so. I think it's just a waste and you're risking not even yourself you're risking other people's lives because 
some people, um, you know, elderly people, it's dangerous for them. It's dangerous for everyone, but especially them. So even if you have it, you might not know you have it. You could be asymptomatic, then you're passing your germs, and that those germs can catch on to the next person who doesn't have a strong immune system, and they can pass away from that. So you just want to make sure you're not just thinking about yourself, but you're thinking about everyone else around you. Um, so just stay inside. Like, I don't think y'all understand that when if we all stayed inside this could be done in like four weeks like a whole month the virus will go away um but you guys just have to do your part and stay in the house how old are you i just turned 18. nina said is nina the bestest best friend ever yes i love you nina nina's my best friend do you speak spanish no i don't speak spanish i took spanish in school two years ago and I think I failed that. <laughs> no. Um, are you currently dating anyone? No. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? I, I try not to eat fast food like that. But if I had to pick my top two, it would be Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. I feel like they're more on the healthier side of fast food rather than like a McDonald's or Burger King. Um, Chick-fil-A is just so good. Like the chicken nuggets is just so good. Like, I like McDonald's too. But when you taste McDonald's chicken nuggets, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, it's just... Like, McDonald's chicken nuggets just taste fake compared to that. Like, the Chick-fil-A is nice and tender. And you can actually see, like, you know what meat, when you get chicken and you break it and you see the little lines, like the little, the, you know what I'm talking about, when you break meat open and you see lines, like the chicken skin meat. With McDonald's, you don't see that. It's just like a block mush. I don't, I don't know. Um, are you afraid of the coronavirus? For my safety, no. I mean, I am afraid, but I'm not because I'm taking the proper precautions. So if I take the proper precautions, I'm not going to get it. Are you going to make more books? I honestly don't know. It depends. Making a book is more stressful than a lot of y'all think. Let's see. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I think I will have to make a book after I have, like, kids and I accomplish what I want to do. And then I can make a book for maybe like parents who want to do entrepreneurship and work and how to balance that life. But as of right now, I don't think I would. Protective style tips. I would say for quarantine, I got my braids done, which is like a good protective style because you know, I'm leaving my hair alone. It's braided um, and it's cute at the same time too. So I would say good protective styles are like box braids. Make sure they don't do them too tight around your edges. Um, twists are good. Cornrows. Just anything that's like braided and you just can just leave your hair alone for like some weeks. Like for me, I'll keep my twist in for like a week, two weeks. Or I keep my protective style in and the only time I comb my hair is when it's time to wash it. I don't really comb my hair before then because I feel like that puts a lot of stress. So I just let my hair do what it wants to do. Someone said, how is the admire my skin, skin lightening thing going? Is it working because I want to try it? I don't know who she's talking to. Maybe she got me mixed up, but I, I do not bleach my skin. This is my natural skin tone. A lot of y'all don't know the difference of, okay. A lot of y'all will watch Jesse, right? And you notice how dark I am. And I'm gonna tell you why. So y'all can stop saying I bleach my skin. Um. I am dark because every time we would film Jesse, we would film it in the summer. As in, I would just get back from vacation, whether that be Cabo, Hawaii, and I was always in the sun when I would go on vacation and I would purposely tan because I like getting dark. I love tanning. Um, so that's why I would always be dark because we film in summertime. And in the summertime, we get what? Darker. You're naturally in the sun more. You go outside, the sun is hotter. You're getting darker. And I, if I go outside just for like, five minutes and if I were to go outside like this I would have a tan line right here that's how fast I tan um so yeah and this is my natural skin tone if you look at pictures of me when I was four and six and nine before I moved to LA I was very light not light skin but I was lighter brown um so this is my natural skin tone I would never bleach my skin I feel like it's just, you, people shouldn't bleach your skin. You should be happy the way God made you. You are beautiful in your skin inside and out. You don't need, you don't need that. And plus bleaching your skin causes problems and cancer. So I would never, never do that. And I would never do that so that my followers would do it. Because, you know, sometimes we do things because we see other people do it. So I would, I would never put you guys in the harm of doing that. But I swear on everything, I don't bleach my skin 
Plus, my mother would never let me bleach my skin. And I wouldn't even want to because you risk burning your skin, permanently damaging it. And actually, I know someone and their mom bleached their skin and her skin is like ruined. So, I would never do that. Um, what is your favorite movie? It depends. I have a lot of favorite movies. I have like really good movies like Green Book is one of my favorite movies. That's really good. ATL is one of my favorite movies. Like ATL, my mom always says, why is that your favorite movie? I think it's because it's just like real life. It's about kids, teenagers who live in Atlanta, just living their life and things that they go through. So I don't know, ATL is one of my favorite movies. I like Texas Chainsaw, that's a good movie. Jeepers Creepers, I like part one. A lot of people say they like part two better, but I like part one. I don't know if y'all have ever seen Jeepers Creepers, but you need to check that out. And Michael Myers, um, Halloween is my favorite movie. Let's see, who are you close to? Um, I have a small circle of friends. I would say I'm close to my friend Nina, number one. She's my best friend. Noah, Nicole, Sarah, um, Josie. I'm close to a lot of people. But those are like the people I would hang out with. I have a lot of friends or acquaintances, but I don't hang out with them. I only hang out with like four or five. Someone said, why don't you eat worms? Who would eat worms? I mean, if you're trying to give me a quick coin to eat some worms, then sure. A quick million, two million, then sure, I'll pop some worms in my mouth. But other than that, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, I probably wouldn't even do that for money. I mean, I think anyone would. A million, two million to eat some worms, but no, I'm not eating worms. Who's my favorite, like, rappers and stuff, um, and singers. I already said Summer Walker. Um, I'm gonna have to go with my playlist, which if y'all want, I can link my playlist in the description below. It's Apple Music, love it, it's so good. I like Little Uzi, I like G Herbo, I like Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke's one of my favorites, um, Money Bag Yo, um, Chris Brown, all of them. But I will definitely leave my um, playlist in the description box so you guys can listen to it because I have a lot of songs. And I have different playlists too. I have multiple playlists. Someone said, did you get into Vine Beef in 2013 over Hayes Greer or was it just a weird dream? Um, I think that was a dream because I I know Hayes, we're cool, but we never had drama. So I think it's a weird dream. I'm gonna just answer her right now. I think that's funny. Sometimes I do that too. Like I'll dream things, but and then think they actually happen when they really didn't. McDonald's or Taco Bell? I would just say McDonald's. I like Taco Bell, but Taco Bell doesn't have like a variety of things. Like they just have like burritos, nachos, tacos. I like McDonald's more because they have a variety. They get your chicken nuggets, you can get your apple pie, you can get what, your burger, your salad, your milkshake, whatever you want, McDonald's has it. Chicken tenders, so yeah. What's your favorite kind of food? I love Jamaican food, I love Jamaican food. There's this place in LA, it's called We Jamming. So good. Best Jamaican food I've ever had. Um, and what else? I like spicy food, so Indian food, and I also like seafood, and I love king crab legs. What's my favorite thing about myself? My favorite thing about myself is how confident I am. Not in a cocky way, but if I'm just confident and I'm proud of what I have achieved. Um, also, the way I speak my mind at times. I'm not just gonna zip shut. If I feel like something's bothering me or I'm going to speak on topics that a lot of people aren't speaking on. So advocacy for anti-bullying, all of that. So I don't know. I just like how I wouldn't say brave, but brave in a way. Um, favorite artist that you have met? I would say Rihanna. I love her. She is so sweet. Rihanna is probably one of the most down to earth people I've ever met in my entire life. And she's so, so cool. And she also smells really good, y'all. She smells like vanilla and just like freshness. Like she just got out the shower. Like just, she just smells amazing. If you ever meet Rihanna, try to smell her. I mean, don't go up to her and like smell her, but you'll probably smell it from afar because she just smells so good. Um, how tall are you? I'm five feet tall. Um, are you getting your own place? Where would you want to move? Um, as of right now, I just turned 18, so I'm not really in a rush to move out. Maybe by the time I'm 20, yeah, 20, 21, I'll be moved out of the house. I don't know. Um, that's only for us to see later in the future. And where would I move? I would probably move to Atlanta if I could pick anywhere to move. I don't know. I just, 
like the energy there better than California. But I would never like leave California. I would always come here. So I would be by coastal wherever I am, I'm gonna be flying back and forth. How long does it take for you to do your makeup? It takes me like, I wanna say maybe 20 minutes. It used to be like 45 minutes, me doing a full face, but now I learned how to minimize what I'm doing, but still make it look like how it was if I were to do like a full, full face. So I kind of finessed it a little bit. So like a good, but honestly, if it's like, sometimes I might just do foundation, a little concealer, powder, eyeshadow, mascara, eyebrows. That's like 10 minutes right there. Do you believe in soulmates? I do believe in soulmates. I feel like there will always be someone who it doesn't a soulmate doesn't even necessarily mean that you're gonna be with someone it could be your best friend who could be your soulmate um i definitely believe in things like that and yeah so i definitely believe like soulmates of finding the person that will always be in your life forever or just a person that you'll always have a um energy with just like even if you're not together y'all could be thinking about each other or y'all can feel each other's energy from far 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 away do you like stranger things i do i haven't really fully watched it but i like it how do i deal with period cramps okay y'all i get bad period cramps now which sucks because i used to never get period cramps but i think your body just changes over time so number one tip don't eat anything greasy as in eating mcdonald's on your period would not be good anything greasy fried salty don't eat that um also don't drink anything cold so if you want to drink water drink it room temperature some people like to drink warm water i don't but don't drink like ice ice cold water or ice juice anything you want to drink make sure it's room temperature so let it sit out for a little bit so it's not cold um make sure you got your tylenol or advil or deck whatever y'all prefer whatever um appropriate like painkiller so, like I said, Advil or Tylenol or whatever you guys take. Um, and also get like a heating pad. I don't have one, but I what I do is I um, wet a towel and I'll put it in the microwave and then put the towel in the Ziploc bag because it will be wet and it will be all over me. So, the Ziploc bag just prevents it from getting um, me wet and then I'll put it on my stomach and then lay stomach down on my bed and then be laying on the heating pad. So the pressure really gets in there. But cramps hurts. I hate cramps. I hate, hate, hate it. It's the worst thing ever. I cannot stand it. Um, but yeah, it, it sometimes it depends. It could be really bad. Sometimes it's not. But usually for me, it's like the first two days. Um, it's that annoying feeling. And sometimes no matter if I take the Tylenol or Advil, it just does not work. Thoughts on Queen Doja Cat. I love Doja Cat. I think she's amazing. If I were to meet someone, if someone was like, who would you want to meet? I would definitely say Doja Cat because I love her personality. I like that, again, she's different. She's not like the common um, singer that you would see. I like how fun she is. Even on her lives on Instagram, you can tell that she's like really down to earth. And her music videos are really creative too. And she's just funny, like, she's just funny. Um, and I use, like, a lot of her facial expressions on videos. For, like, you know when you're texting with your friends and y'all be sending reaction videos back and forth? I always use hers because she's just so funny. Um, best part and worst part of quarantine. Favorite part about quarantine is getting rest, getting to learn more about things that I probably would have never learned about if this didn't happen. Worst part, not being able to see my friends and going out to eat. What's your favorite song right now? That's a really hard one. I would say Grace by Little Baby and 42 Doug. Would you ever consider competing in a pageant? No, not now. When I was younger, when I was like five, four or five, I really wanted to do it, but I just never did because um, I didn't have time. I wasn't working at that time too. But I really wanted to be in pageants and I always said that when I have kids, I will put them in pageants. But now that I'm thinking about it, I probably wouldn't do that because pageants are just a waste of money. I feel like, if you have all the money in the world, then go ahead. But pageants are just a waste of money. You spend thousands of dollars on a dress, the shoes, you gotta get the spray tan, you gotta get the makeup done, your hair. Then you gotta pay someone to rehearse your kids so that they can do the acts they need to do on stage, the dancing, the posing. And then if you win, you're not guaranteed to win the pageant. You get like, what, a quick 500 bucks for nothing, pretty much. Weird food combinations that I enjoy, I like popcorn and mustard. <laughs> um, 
that is one of my favorite. How are you today? I'm good. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. Okay, y'all. So I think this video is done. I think I answered a lot of questions. I love you guys so much. My camera's about to die. Also, let me know if you want me to do a Sims 4 custom content video. A lot of you guys on Twitter wanted me to do it because I play Sims. Let me know. I will do the Sims for gameplay, whatever you want me to do. Um, but yeah, comment down below. And I love you guys so much. Bye.